Hi, my name is Elaine and in today's video I've got a work capsule wardrobe for the autumn winter season. So firstly, I want to give you some context behind this capsule wardrobe, but if that is not of interest to you and you just want to get to the clothes, I will put a link down here to when I start talking about what items are in it and how I built the capsule wardrobe. But for those of you that are staying, as you know, if you watched any of my latest videos, I got a new job. And the previous job I was in was quite casual when it came to the dress code. So usually I wore jeans and a t-shirt and runners to work. While this new job, there's no dress code, like I'm not told what to wear and no one's ever told me what to wear. The work is a mixture of office-based work, but also client meetings. So I have just decided for myself that I kind of want to up my game when it comes to my wardrobe. I feel more confident when I'm, you know, wearing something more professional. And kind of since I've come into my 30s, dressing in a particular way in work is uh, quite important to me. So because of that, I wanted to make it as simple as possible for myself and make sure that I didn't need to get a whole load of new clothes. So I have put together a number of outfits. So first off, I have 13 items. So that's eight clothing items, three pairs of shoes, a belt and tights. Obviously more than one pair of tights. And from those 13 items, I've actually made 11 outfits. Could I have made more outfits out of the items? Yes, but did I like all of the outfits I could have made? No. And the reason that I kind of settled on 11 was that is two full weeks, five days a week of work, plus one extra in case you get a stain on something, you just don't want to wear it or the weather, you know, permits that you wear something different. So it just gives you options. But basically with the capsule wardrobe that I've created, you have outfit ideas for two weeks. And you can just use them on rotation, changing up the different days that you use them. So you always feel like you're wearing something different or nice or comfortable um, and you'll just feel more professional, hopefully. Now with this, I kind of want to preface this by saying I'm not a fashionista. I don't have a fashion channel. Fashion is something that I've always in a sense kind of struggled with. Like I can put outfits together, but sometimes I get bogged down. And I just resort to jeans and t-shirts, but what I can offer to this, I suppose, is a normal person, just an average everyday person who wears clothes, likes to wear clothes, and just wants to use kind of basic enough items to feel comfortable and to look and feel professional. So that's kind of what I'm offering here. Like I'm not gonna be pushing the boat out, it's not gonna be fancy outfits. I've really tailored this around basics because as part of my channel as well is, I like, twice a year probably go shopping um, and I shop for like the summer season or the winter season and I just don't want somebody to look at this video and then feel like they have to go out and buy a whole load of clothes whereas a lot of the items I talk about are basics so in theory you could have a lot of them already within your wardrobe. Now let's take a look at some of the items that I picked. So firstly, any research that I did about capsule wardrobes, one thing that is talked about quite a lot is that you need to pick a base color before you begin. So usually it's either black or navy. For me, it's black. I wear a lot of black. Uh, I think black suits me. I think now that my hair is lighter, it suits me better than when I had dark hair. And I just find it easier to match things with. And a lot of the items you'll see have black in them, even if there's other colors. So that's the color I went with, we'll go, but go with whichever one you want to. So now I'm gonna go on to each individual outfit. So I'm gonna actually start with tops, I think. Uh, so I have three tops and a blazer. So the very first top is something that I feel like everyone's gonna have in their wardrobe, which is a basic plain white t-shirt. So this one I think was like a Primark t-shirt, but you can get any plain white t-shirt. The only thing that I would say is that make sure it's like a really crisp white and it's not too see-through so that you're not kind of looking a bit scandalous in your workplace. So just a plain white t-shirt. The next top then is this, which is a gray ribbed polo neck. So you can kind of see the ribs in it. It's like a dark gray. And um, this is my recommendation would be just some sort of colored top or polo neck. If you don't like polo necks, just get like colored, like maybe a high neck jumper like this. 
Um, obviously the color that I went for was gray, so it's not the most exciting color, but it does add a little bit of dimension to some of the outfits. If you want, I have another one, which I, I don't have in this capsule wardrobe, but it's like this jumper that I'm wearing, but it's a blue, pale blue color. It just didn't go with any of the um, other colors that I had here, which is why I haven't included it. But you could, if you wanted to even go for a cream or, you know, a beige or something like that, but it's a colored jumper. And then of course, as black is our, um, this is, there's a stain on this because I've worn this loads <laughs> and I have to wash it. And then there's a, and then a black jumper. So a jumper within your uh, base color. So this one is a ribbed jumper again. It's got this lovely button detail on it, just long sleeves. It's like a really nice length. This one came from New Look and I'll put a link to it down below. It's on sale at the moment. I think it's about, uh, let me check here. Yeah, it's about 17 euro, it's on sale. But any black jumper, like you don't, you can go for something plain like this one that I'm wearing here um, or something with a bit of detail, like the button details. And again, it can be a polo neck or it can be uh, a round neck, whichever you're uh, more comfortable with. Uh, then we move on to the bottoms. So for this, the first item that I would suggest that you get would be a midi skirt. So at the moment, there are midi skirts in every shop. I'm sure there's loads of midi skirts probably in charity shops because a lot of the styles of the midi skirts came from older styles like in the 90s. Um, but this midi skirt is the one I have. If you can see it, it is this kind of greeny color. It is from New Look. And again, this one is on sale. Um, it is on sale for 19 euro. Um, it's this kind of almost like a leopard print type pattern and I like really like this one because it goes with the gray, it goes with the black, it goes with the white, and um, it just goes with all the colors I have. So a midi skirt. Then the next item is some form of mini skirt. Now this can be a plain color like black if you wanted to, but I actually think that it's better to go for something that complements the two colors at the top and to add something a little bit interesting. So I also have, for instance, like I have a purpley cord skirt, like a dark purple cord skirt. You could go for that. Or like with this one, this was one from last season in pennies, I think. This is the one that I have. So this is just like stripey, uh, it's nice colors and it's buttoned and it's like a paper bag waist skirt. And um, what I like about that is actually quite light material. So on some days, like at the moment, the reason that I'm in a kind of a different spot that I'm normally in is to do with the lighting because it's such a dull, dark day and the lighting is like a real blue quality to it. But um, on those kind of days, it tends to be warmer. So I like to have a light skirt that I can wear. So there's that. So, so far midi, mini. And then, um, of course, we need the staple black jeans. So these are from Topshop. Uh, you'll see them better in the, um, you'll see them better when I stand up and I actually show you the outfits, but these are the Jamie jeans and I have repurchased these so many times. I'll put a link to them down below and I think they cost about 55 euro, but they wash really well. Like these actual particular ones, I think I've had for uh, maybe two or three years and they're still really dark colored, which is quite good and I've never re-dyed them. And then finally, the last, uh, bottoms category is a pair of jazzy pants so these are jazzy trousers these are the ones i have uh there's actually loads of check trousers out at the moment but you could go for anything you go for stripes pinstripes you could even just go for a bold block color something just basically that's not black so these are the ones i have they're from stradivarius they are jegging so they've got no pockets and no zip and a slip button and then they're just cuffed nicely at the end and they're quite tight and so so comfortable you can still buy these in stradivarius and they were 20 euro um and there's loads of different types as i said so so they are the uh four of the uh trouser category bottoms category and then finally on to top it all off you need some form of blazer so this blazer i have had for eight years i think so it's quite an old blazer but i love it it was just a really good find so it's one of those collarless blazers 
um it has these nice cuffs at the end and it kind of a this kind of peachy color but you can also um roll them down i don't think i rolled them down in this video but i probably should have for a couple of the outfits but like you can roll them down so that they're just normally cuffed and it's just a nice material nice and soft so again with this you can go for a black blazer or you can go for a colored blazer there's a lot of blazers at the moment and then definitely go for like a cotton style that you're comfortable with mine is like a kind of just hits me at the waist but you could go for a cropped one or you could go for a long blazer whatever uh, your uh, you want yourself the belt I have I don't ha I think I actually have it on right now so let me see if I can stand up and show you so you can kind of see it it's just like a black normal belt from Primark and then the tights are just black tights from Primark and I go for the weather sensor finish ones and I tend to size up to the extra large so they're more comfortable and then for these shoes so these are the flats that i have they could be any sort of loafery brogues these again are from primark and they're actually like i hadn't intended to i had intended to buy more expensive ones that maybe what might last longer but the primark ones are the most comfortable and they're the kind of um a fake suede so they're the actually softest of all of the ones i tried then these boots that i have are from topshop i adore these boots and these are actually my second pair of them and um, probably think I'm mad, but I had a pair last year and I love them so much, but they're starting to get kind of, not even worn, but it's just that I wear them to work all the time. So what I do is I actually leave them um, under my desk. And then these, I decided to get a second pair because what I thought about was that these were on sale for 35 euro in store and 40 euro online. And I just kind of thought, what if something happened? Like I love these boots so much. What if something happened to them and I lost them or they got damaged or something? Um, so I got a second pair. So these are my home ones, which are um, uh, kind of, I got to keep these and not wear them in any rain or anything. And the other ones are kind of ones that I wear quite a lot. And then finally, I'm gonna have to put my leg up to show you this. The other pair, now I don't really include these a huge amount in the capsule wardrobe, but they're just there as an option if you don't want to wear a heel boot. I feel really confident in that heel boot. So that's why I wear it. But there's these, which you can kind of see. They're Timberlands. A bit muddy on the sole but I'm wearing them today with my black jeans so they're like a Timberland boot and they were quite expensive they were about 150 odd euro and um, but again these are Timberland so I'll have them for years and but there's loads of different boots kind of like this if you did want to go down that route I don't tend to wear them as much I just don't feel as professional in them but they're there as an option so they are the items that is the 13 items that I'm going to be talking about. And now let's see how I created the outfits. So for the first outfit, I have taken the black skinny jeans, paired it with the gray polo neck and then the black high boots. I really love this outfit. It's quite a go to for me during autumn, winter because I find it really comfortable. I feel like the silhouette is really nice. It really suits my body shape. And yeah, I just think it looks really chic and it's definitely one of the most comfortable of these outfits as you can see here i'm just throwing a belt onto it because i do think that the outfit itself looks a little bit more finished with a belt with it but uh, this is a really nice basic easy one to recreate and again if you don't want to wear the high boots you could always pair it with the pair of loafers and then a nice jacket over the top and you're ready to go so for the second outfit then, I am keeping the black jeans, but I decided to make this one sort of a monochrome all black outfit. So I've taken the new look jumper. Um, here I have it out, but you can tuck it in if you'd like to get a slightly different silhouette. Again, the silhouette on this is really nice. I like the gold detail on the buttons. And if you wanted to add a slight bit of color to this, you could add in a blazer as I'm doing now. So this as well, um, if you wear an item, if you wear uh, one color underneath the blazer, it actually makes you look taller. So if you can see here, I feel like I look quite tall in this. So this would be an outfit that'd be good if I wanted to feel maybe slightly powerful or something. Uh, the gray is nice with it, it lightens it up a bit, but it's just, again, a really comfortable, really happy with this silhouette. And then if you didn't want to wear high boots, you could, of course, pair this with the loafers. And again, it's a really nice, smart, casual outfit. So staying again with the loafers and the black jeans, and I've just added in the crisp white t-shirt. It's a really simple t-shirt that I got from Primark, but you can use any plain white t-shirt. To throw over this to make it look more professional, I've added the gray blazer. So this is actually 
partly the outfit that I wore to my interview. And what I really liked about this is it was on a slightly warmer autumn day, so I didn't feel too hot in it. I felt really comfortable. What's also good if you're in an office, you could take the blazer off and just be in the t-shirt if your office is quite warm. And then if you need to be professional, if you need to meet clients or you're going out for lunch, you can throw the blazer on over the top. I've had this blazer for years. It's really comfortable and it's really stood the test of time. And I'm sure you could get something quite similar to it in the shops at the moment. This also looks really good with the black boots. So again, this makes you look taller because number one, you are physically taller in the boots, but it just creates a really nice long uh, silhouette from your legs down to your feet. This is a slightly more professional version of it. And this is actually what I wore to my first interview with the company that I currently work with. And I just felt really professional, really comfortable. So for the next outfit, I've kept the blazer, the t-shirt and the boots, but then I swapped out the bottoms for a pair of tights and my mini skirt from Primark. I really like this outfit. I think it's quite girly, but it's also nice and bright. And on maybe one of those brighter days where you don't want to just be wearing all black, you could wear this one. I really adore this skirt. It's got a paper bag waist. It's kind of, I need to iron it so you can see it's kind of flapping down a bit there, but it's a really light, comfortable skirt. It doesn't crease because it's made from some, I'd say quite a synthetic material, but uh, the black in it's really nice with the tights. And this is a really good outfit again, if it's a, quite a warm day, but you still want to look quite professional and quite nice because as you can see, you can take the blazer off and just have the t-shirt if you're around the office and it's that little bit more classy than the black jeans and a little bit more dressed up because you've added the height and also you have a skirt and tights on. And then for outfit number five, I've kept the entire bottom half of the previous outfit and I have put on a gray polo neck jumper. So this is kind of, if you wanna make this outfit maybe a little bit warmer and you want to have a bit more layers on top, as I said earlier, this polo neck is light enough, so it's not too warm, but it's definitely a lot warmer than just wearing a t-shirt and a blazer. What I like about this is that it's not just all black. You will see I'll use an all black outfit in a minute. And I just think that the gray is nice and wintry and it goes really well with the skirt and the tights. Then outfit six is probably one of my favorite outfits. And the reason being that I do really like the, this, I feel like it makes me look quite tall and it, because of the silhouette of the black and then the black stripes running down the skirt, I just think that the black goes the whole way through the outfit and makes me feel a lot taller. I just love this outfit. I don't know what it is about it. I think just the brightness of the skirt and then the fact that the stripes are going downwards, it just makes me feel quite confident, quite tall and it looks really nice. <laughs> know what else to say about it this would be great for any skirt that you have really particularly if you went for maybe a block color skirt like i have a wine corduroy skirt that you could put with this this effort in particular you can see i've also just paired it just to show you you could if you wanted to wear the flat boots i probably wouldn't wear them for work but you could if you were in maybe a more casual office and of course the flat loafers so just putting on the second pair of the flat loafers this outfit is really nice as well and because it is all plain black and you can see the gold detail of the shoes with the buttons. Looks really nice, that ties in really well with that. Then keeping the high boots, tights, and the black jumper, I've just added in the green midi skirt from New Look. This, I really love this. This is what I actually wore for my first day of work last week or two weeks ago when you're watching this. Love this skirt so much. I think me as a pear shape, it's so flattering, so comfortable, it's light, it just looks nice. I went to a client meeting in it and I feel really professional and really happy in this. The one thing I would do though, as you can see here, the buttons at the top, I think that this skirt actually looks nicer with a plain black jumper, which as I said, I have one of, but I still think the buttons aren't taking anything away from the outfit. Oh, I love this outfit so much. It just, yeah, there's just loads of skirts like this out at the moment. So if it's not this skirt that suits you, you will definitely find a skirt. And I really like that there's one slate up the side. It just adds a little bit of something to it. Then as you can see here, this is one of the outfits where I would actually pair the flat boots with it. Again, it'd be kind of if I was staying around the office and I would wear it without tights, just add something a bit extra to it. And you could put on a pair of uh, skin colored tights with this particular one. I kind of sometimes wish this skirt was a little bit shorter, but it isn't. So here we are. For outfit number eight then, 
I've kept it similar to outfit number seven, but I've just changed up the jumper. So I put on the gray polo neck. I actually have a non polo neck version of this jumper, kind of similar to this, and it looks nice with it as well. But again, it's just a little different color rather than wearing black all the time. I find that the gray is a little bit more forgiving against my face when I'm quite pale. And this is a super comfy, super warm, cozy outfit. Outfit nine then are my favorite pants in the world which are my tartan pants and I've added them to the outfit with the black jumper and the black high boots. For this particular outfit, I would definitely wear the jumper tucked in. And what's great about these pants and great for work is that there's no zip in them. There's just a button. So there's no awkward moments where you, which has happened to me in the past, where you're talking to someone at eye level, you're standing, they're sitting and your zip is open. For this particular outfit, I would put a belt with it. I just think it finishes off the outfit rather than having those belt loops sort of hanging out at the side. And you'll see later, I will pair it with lower shoes. But I actually prefer it with the high boots. I think it just looks more sleek and more professional. And I think the pants are just kind of a bit cool. It shows off a personality and it shows that you're not in any way boring. So again, then I'm just swapping out the black jumper for the gray jumper. This is what it looks like when the gray jumper is out. I don't like this look personally because I am pear shaped. So I think it draws too much attention to my hips. I also don't think it looks as professional as if you had the gray jumper tucked in. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like now. Again, you could put the belt with this one or you could keep it as is. And I just really like it. And again, with the high shoes, I think it looks better than if you were to wear it with flats. And then finally, my 11th outfit. This brings back in the white t-shirt and the gray blazer and keeping the high boots. This again, is a, this is a nice outfit. Um, I like the colors together and it allows for layering. So you can take off the blazer if you want to just have the white shirt. Again, with this, I do think that the belt looks really nice with it, especially if you are planning to wear it at any point without the blazer on it. I think it just finishes off the outfit like that. It kind of gives the belt loops something to do. I really, really like this outfit. And this was the only of the outfits with the tartan pants that I did put with flat shoes. I just prefer the high shoes with it, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the flat shoes. And also, if you really wanted to, you could wear this outfit with the flat boots. I think it makes it quite casual, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's still, those boots are so nice that I still think it keeps it professional and it's just another look. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, I'm not a fashionista. These are just really basic outfits that anyone can recreate. And um, if you do recreate any of them, please go to my Instagram, which I'll stick here and tag me in them or send them to me and show me how you've recreated the outfits. I would love to see. And of course, if you have any comments, pop them in the comments below. Um, if you liked this video, big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would really love to have you on board. I'm slowly and steadily growing my subscriber account at the moment. And I uh, just want to get my videos out to more people and to help more people navigate through their 20s and 30s. Um, but yes, that is it. And uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you in two Sundays time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.